Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to virtual open event for Banesalke College Hair and Beauty Department. This is my colleague Selassie, and my name is Mira Cutting. Selassie is teaching for hairdressing team, and she's a hairdresser, and I'm teaching for beauty therapy team, and I'm a beauty therapist. So let's start. Um, as you can see on the first slide, we do have a very nice looking new Colindale campus. And this is the building that looks like in, in the Bristol Avenue. And I'm going to show you exactly where the address is. The site is located, the following address, as it says on the site, 7 Bristol Avenue, NW9, 4BR London. And it's a short five minute walk from Colindale tube station. The access is very easy from the tube station, as we said before, and it's very close to underground and bus, bus links, sorry, that are going to definitely enrich and ensure that our students have the best possible experience and it's going to serve the local community as well. Our Colindale campus is a new state of the art, as you could see, hub for hairdressing and beauty courses. On the next slide, you are going to see we do have our beauty skills center. And as well as a beauty skills center, the Colindale Center has got the Lee Stafford Academy for hairdressing, which about Celas is going to tell us a little bit more in a short while. Mm -hmm. And we do have as well a training hair salon, which is open to a public for hairdressing and barbering treatments. We also do have a beauty advanced clinic that is run by our level four graduates. And we do have a beauty training salons that are open to public for our level two and level three treatments. In the hair and beauty department, you can study the skills as a hairdressing, makeup, beauty and spa therapies. When you come to us, we do going to, we're going to prepare you to work for industry, for hair and beauty industry. The entry requirements will be a good level and knowledge of English language. And when you come for an interview, we are going to advise you on which level you are and what you need to do. The course structure is going to be explained to you in detail by your tutors. You are going to practice on your peers and you are going to be assessed working on your clients and your peers. Approximate start date of our full-time programs is on September, every September, beginning of the September, but you would have to come to involve before then. Normally, we do start to interview for new courses starting in January or February. So please do make sure that you apply for the courses you would like to study with us. As our student, you're going to receive support funds if you apply for the support fund and if you meet the requirements for support fund. And this is going to be explained to you in more details on your enrollment. We do as a department organize hair, beauty and makeup trips. We do in, as well do have industry visits, um, makeup from makeup industry. We did have guest speakers coming to us. We do a hairdressing link with the Lee Stratford Academy, and they do come very often. We are going to, so lastly, we are going to have an opening of our academy very soon. Yeah. Yeah. Ten of this month. Do you want to tell us a little bit more about? Well, Lee Stratford is going to be coming down to open the academy here in Barnet College, well, Barnet College. Um, he'll be coming around about uh, 5 p.m. on the on the 10th of November. And we're going to have a blast. Um, a lot of his works he calls recipes. And in the past seven to eight weeks, our students have been practicing, working on the various recipes. Yes. Yes. It's, and they're really enjoying it. They're enjoying it. They're having mm -hmm. a wonderful time. Yes. And I'm sure you will as well if you come and study with us. We can share these secret recipes with yes. you. Yes. yes. For her. Yes. Right. 
Um, we do have something called study programs for our 16 to 18 years old students. What does this mean? It means that yes, you are going to study your vocational course, beauty, makeup or hair, but along those vocational studies, you are going to give, be given opportunity and expect you to complete to a past level your, and to brush up your maths and English skills. Uh, as you know, this is the minimum requirement of any employment of, at the time in any industry. So you would have to do your maths and English or complete to become um, com uh, competent. competent or to make sure you actually pass maths and English. You as well, uh, you would be expected to find your work placement. And this is to help you to gain industry experience and is very, very valuable. All our students 16 to 18, they are going to, and they are finding their own work placements at least one day a week. In-class support is part-time of our overall study program. So your personal tutors are going to be individuals who are going to help you throughout your course and overcome any barriers with you in order for you to complete your course successfully. And as I just said, it's the same. The group and the individual tutorials are included and are going to enhance any additional learning on your course. The additional resources that you may need in here, you do not need a uniform, no. <laughs> but you do, feel like you need to do what? You need to be dressed You in? need to be dressed in black mm -hmm. because it looks very professional. So perhaps a nice black top and a black trousers or skirt, is preferably, you know, you don't have to break the bank to look for those outfits. A good old, reasonable, cheap, but not quite cheap, but a reasonable black top, black trousers would do, yeah. and clothes shoes. It's, um, it's a health and safety requirement, course, isn't it? Yes. So we make sure you're protected, you're tired. <laughs> and you do look professional, because most salons yeah. you look kind of sharp, you look professional. Yes. But in the beauty, in the beauty, uh, on the beauty courses, you are going to, I don't know, not sure how much you can see, you are going to wear a uniform, which is black, and it's like my top, and you are required to wear black trousers and black shoes, but we are going to give you all the information when you come to us for interviews, and you are going to be able to purchase this before the start of your course. On a both hair and beauty and makeup uh, courses, you are required to have your makeup and beauty and hair kits. And these are arranged again through us, but you are going to order them yourself and we are going to give you more information about these when you come to us. Each course does have a textbook that is following all the, or is including everything we do in class. Yes. You can find in a textbook to prepare you for your exams, to be able to write your assignments, especially if English is your second language, and to give you all the relevant information you may be asked in your external online tests. I would just say that it's not including on this slide, but we do have a quite a big library of resources on iLearn and you will be able for each individual course to find all the information that we do in the class, you will be able to later on read it at home. Okay, sorry, I'm just gone wrong way. But now we are going to talk about hairdressing qualifications and I'm going to leave Selassie to explain a little bit more about that to you. So the hairdressing qualification starts with various levels within the college. We have the level one diploma in working in the hair and beauty industry. And that's just a basic hairdressing course. And that consists of about roughly 11 units. Um, I could go a bit more in details, but I'll just give you a brush idea of what it is. So you'll be learning things such as working in the hairdressing industry, just exploring and do a bit of research. You'll be learning also about health and safety within that industry as it's very relevant and vital. And then that proceeds with teaching you how to do your blow dries, you know, and your cutting. And they're just basically getting you, uh, giving that kind of confidence to progress into level two. I strongly advise that you do the level ones should anybody apply for this because it gives you a good grounding into the hairdressing um, field. 
So now for level two barbering, which is becoming very popular now, yeah. um, level two barbering is, is becoming a big thing now. And, and in fact, barbering actually is, is a massive thing. I took my students out to the exhibition uh, not so long ago and barbering at Excel and barbering took over completely different types of barberings everywhere. So barbering is a big thing, it's hot. You can make a lot of money in barbering. And, and you can study, you can study the course here with us. Yes, so we yes. have a good, a beautiful department here with Barbara, Barbara in department. We also have the level two diploma in women's hairdressing. And that's a progression from level one. And again, great details. If you come, we can tell you all about it. And that proceeds again to level three. And the level three is the most exciting part of all because the students end up doing all these hair exhibitions very and take them. Of course. Very, of course. very creative. Yes. Lots of fun. Yes. yes. And I would, I would like to say that most of our students who start with the level ones proceed right really? throughout into level three. And of course, from there, they also branch off to do a bit of beauty as well. So we share, we share the, uh, <laughs> the students between the beauty. <laughs> yes. yes. It's a one stop, one stop shop. You do everything. You do everything here. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Celeste. Okay, so the next slide, you can see some of our creative makeup students' work and a um, little bit of body art going on in there. One of the salons in the right hand bottom corner, there's a salon we are sitting in now doing yeah. this presentation for you. It's got really, really beautiful lighting. That's why we come here, yeah. professional. <laughs> film photographic lighting so we look so I hope we look okay yeah. anyway so little bit of eyelashes there and some hair pieces as well and uh, yeah that's our makeup uh, on our for our makeup qualification what I can say about them we do have level two and level three and we do have our makeup course tutor Caroline Demacado who is not with us here today, um, but when you come for your interview, you're going to meet Caroline and she's going to explain everything to you about level two and level three makeup. All I'm going to say, you even come, can come to us, as the last is said, and do your level one hairdressing, level two hairdressing, level two beauty, and you can progress then afterwards on your level three diploma in makeup as well. So it's all linked. It's all linked. It's all linked, it's but yet yeah. different. It's yes. not the same. Yes. Okay. Um, as you can see on this slide, we do have um, one of our level three students, previous students on the left hand side doing a facial electrical treatment. Right in the middle, you can see an image of our, one of our training beauty salons. And on the right hand side, one of my ex students doing lash extensions, um, which she progressed on to once she completed the course with us. Um, beauty and spa therapy qualifications, we offer from level two to level five. And it's going to be level two, we do uh, generic uh, beauty therapy studies, which when you study manicure, pedicure, makeup, facial, side treatments and waxing, Level three diploma in beauty therapy techniques. We do have two different level three diplomas and it depends on the uh, interest uh, being shown. We do body massage route or uh, generic route, which I can explain to you everything more in detail about when you come to us. Then we are doing level four diploma in the permanent hair removal and skin, re skin rejuvenation, including laser and laser hair removal and skin rejuvenation techniques. And for this, this year we are, we are starting and we are going to provide another very exciting course, which is very popular at the moment in industry. Level five, five certificate in laser tattoo removal. So it is, Quite, um, yeah, you can start with level two and go all the way to level five. So advanced techniques all the way if you come and study with us. Um, when it comes to course delivery, um, again, for um, 16 to 18 year old students, maths and English is, is there. It's a part of their study program. But then Celasti would agree with me as well. The same on is in makeup, hair or beauty. We always do have science yes. and we do have a core unit. The core units are customer care, health and safety. We do reception as well. 
and the practical session. Celeste, do you want to tell us more about hairdressing? Yeah. Practical sessions. The practical session in hairdressing, most of the students, in fact, that's the fun part for them, really, because it's a, an opportunity for them to hands on, showcase, and, and work on each. They first of all work on head blocks first. So in the head block, that gives them that confidence gradually mm -hmm. to work their way up. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we then, they, they, we then let them work on each other. Then we progress to um, working on clients. So we do have customers that come out into the college and have their hair down. We carry a variety of things in the particular classes. We do um, anything from the wash and blow dryers down to the cut and blow dryers, then to the perms, the balayage, the highlights, the whole lot. And it's a beautiful atmosphere. And it's something that I would say the students do love. It's a real salon, yes. yes. But it's a salon environment. It's so indeed to create salon environment in our classrooms and students gain not just theory knowledge um, and practical skills, but that client care and communication knowledge, how to, how to, how to communicate yes. with the clients and, and, professionalism. and professionalism as well, yeah. of course. So yeah. that's the way as well how we assess our students yeah. and deliver and deliver our uh, programs. Um, this photo is a photo of our hair and beauty team. Mm -hmm. So um, we do have a few other colleagues that are not on this photo that work with us. Yes. As I said, we have Car Caroline yes. de Mercado. She's doing, she's teaching on makeup. Yes. Ruth, we have Sejal Patney. She's teaching on beauty therapy yes. path. Uh, we do have Maria Reston. She's a beauty therapy lecturer. Then we have Julie Hennessy. Yes. She's a hairdressing yes. lecturer. And of course, you've got me, Celeste, <laughs> and then yes. we've got Samantha, you know, yeah. Heather Renting, and we've also got Kim Hamilton, and we've got Elena. So we've got a whole great of, great of, a team of people, actually, experienced lecturers within the college. And I'm going to show you, once you step foot here, as I said, it's a one-stop shop. You carry everything. You do the hair, the beauty, the laser, yeah. the tattooing, everything. It's all under one stop. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Beautiful environment. So what I'm going to do now, um, is there anything else, Phyllis, do you think we need to add to this presentation? Well, did I we cover everything? I think we've covered everything. I mean, the best thing would be after this presentation is to come down, pay a visit. Or just, if you can, yeah, pay the visit. visit. What you need to do, really, to apply for our courses, you need to go on our college's website which I believe in the chat, you're going to have a link of our website or our admissions, how to apply for the course. Yeah. Then you're going to apply for the course. We are going to invite you for an interview. Then you're going to be in our system. And then we're going to, from then on, we're going to look after you and contact you and make sure that you have all the information you need to actually come and study with us. So if you have any questions, please, I'm going to stop sharing my screen and now I'm going to go, if this works, oh, here we go. It does work. Um, just give me a second to bring up the chat bubble and we do, yes. Oh yeah, there we go. Our marketing already, um, already put on a couple of times the links. So please do, and uh, please do go to the, or go on to the chat box. The questions, okay, the generic questions, I'm going uh, to ask some of them. Uh, students in the past would um, ask us, what is the cost of additional materials? For beauty therapy, you are looking at anything from, uh, from 150 pounds to 250 pounds. Well, how about the hairdressing? I'll say it's about the same, rough is about the same. I'll yeah. say that, yeah. Um, it shouldn't be anything more than 250 pounds, roughly, roughly yeah. yeah. It doesn't vary from the course to the course. Exactly. Yeah. And also, obviously, if you're a returning student or you've already done it before, done a hairdressing before anywhere else, then your kits will be much cheaper. So it will be much cheaper. You don't have to buy everything. You would have had your combs, brushes and everything. Mm -hmm. Just buy your head block. I, we have Angela saying hello. Um, Angela, do you have Hi, Angela. Great, hello? Do you have any questions for us? If you're still there, let me just see. Angela, are you there? 
I don't, I think probably she just wanted to say, say hello. hello. Okay. okay, we're Fine. going to say hello back. Um, another generic question that we can cover. So the course, you need to come, you need to uh, apply for the course. We are going to invite you for an interview um, sometime January, February. And then you would get all the details from us. And then we are going to keep you informed about any developments, what you need to do next. But the course is our full-time programs, that we, the ones we talked to you about. And you would come to us and study with us from September. And then normally academic year is as, as any other academic year it's until... Mm -hmm. of July. Our course is finished beginning of July, mm -hmm. just to be safe, mm -hmm. so not particular dates. Okay, um, another another generic questions that maybe students are like to ask us as well. Um, it's about COVID, 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 and health and safety regarding COVID. I can assure you that our colleges following the procedures. procedures that are keeping everybody safe. And uh, we, do, we do look after our students, for our clients. You're still going to have clients coming to us. Yeah, what we do is mm -hmm. when our clients come to us, we do take the client's temperature. So that's the first thing we do. So temperature is taken prior to coming and any belongings that they have, we have a special bag, we put their things in yeah. and they also put their mask on and our students all have to put their mask and visor. So we do take extra precautions on those, um, on the regard, regarding covering the COVID. And they do fill the form and we do have all the, it's details. like, it's not, yeah, it is like a, just a track and trace in the case we need yeah. to know. But otherwise um, we are quite safe environment. Mm -hmm. to come to and yeah. study and as a client. Um, we give them a kit as well. If you can so so our, our students have given a kit, they, they have a kit, give them a kit to take home. So they have an individual kit that they can do their own test as well at home. And of course, we the teachers also, we do also take um, a, a, a test as well. So you're definitely safe, it's a safe environment to come. Yes. Okay, so we do have questions coming through, which is quite good. Are you able to do more than one course in tandem? Uh, Lisa, yeah. well, Lisa, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you um, in the past, and we, our students, let's say, uh, the one that you can do both is they do come to Selassie and her colleagues doing the full-time hairdressing students. And then they would go to Caroline and do evening makeup. Yeah. And it yes. works well. It does work well. well. But that's the only combination we would recommend. You cannot do two full-time courses no. um, at the same two time. time. Yeah. That is just quite a bit yeah. of work. Yeah. Um, another, Angelina is asking us a question. Mm -hmm. I want to do the makeup course. Do you do film makeup and do you do maths and English for all the 18? We do do a film uh, and photographic makeup. Yes, on level three, but you would have to, Angelina, first complete at least level two beauty or, or level two makeup to be able to do yeah. level three. Yeah. We do as a college have um, English for all the 18 and maths, but those classes you would have to arrange with our other department for maths and English, and you would need to book to have an interview with them. Then we have Antonetta. Hi, um, if I done level one award in induction to hair and beauty, that's you. Yes. Can I do top up level two or should I do level one? Just done, yeah, thank you. Okay, hi, Antoinette, Selassie here. Um, the best thing would be to actually come down and then we'll interview you and get a bit more details from you. But surely if you did complete level one award in introduction to hairdressing, um, you should proceed or progress, you should progress to a level two course if you have actually completed all your um, assignments. She's done, she's done, she done five units. Five units. Mm. So one, it depends, yeah. it depends, it depends. So Angelina, the, uh, Anto, uh, Anto, uh, Antoinette. Anto, Antoinette, the best would be to come down so we can see what we can do because five units is not enough. So come down, we'll see what we can do for you. Yeah, there's always something for everybody. I hope I've answered to the best of you. Yeah, you can um, tell us, Antoinette, yeah. as well. Um, okay, 
I'm just going to refresh and make sure, just give a second. Make sure that we are covering, I'm not missing anything out. Is there anything else, Celas, you would like to add? Is there anything that's, we did, um, we do encourage students to do enrichment activities as well. And um, as a students, uh, you can, we can point out how to get, or explain to you, encourage you to go and do lots of enrichment activities, such as exhibitions, so last year, just advised us recently, and I did as well share with my students um, the information about uh, beauty therapy and hairdressing yeah. exhibition and students went on Sunday mm -hmm. and they, they've seen and, and they, they, they yeah. gave us good feedback about it. Yeah. Yes, because um, yeah. one of the things about working in the hair beauty industry is you need to be abreast with um, what's happening out there. You need to, yes, you need to be current. And so the exhibitions are always a great idea or great life for the students to see. And also it inspires the students yeah. and when they go and see you know, makeup being done mm -hmm. or the body massage or some form of you know, eyelash tint and all, I mean, eyelashes is a big thing, isn't it? Yes, yes. 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 <laughs> so yes. Uh, yes. We, so, so yes, we do do, okay. if you come to us, it's not just you coming on a course, it's not yeah. just you doing the work here. We always encourage you to keep informed and updated with anything what is happening in industry. Okay. And uh, we do make sure that you are well informed okay. about as well. Okay. Um, I'll do, I just want to end up with um, saying that our students do find the work in industry successfully. Uh, many local hairdressing salons do have our hairdressing students working for them in Mill Hill Broadway, in High Barnet. We do have as well beauty therapy students uh, ending up working in the past on a cruise ships, traveling around the world, working in the very uh, well-known um, spas in central London, as well running their own oh, business. Goodness. And we do have a makeup students that do uh, work freelance for themselves doing variety from weddings to children parties, body painting or working on the shop floor in Selfridges. So we do, we do have take a pride in our students progressing onto something exciting in industry. And I would just finish this presentation now by saying we're looking forward to seeing you soon please do make sure do you follow these links on the right hand side on your screen apply for the course and come and see us and thank you for your time today thank you thank you bye okay bye <laughs>